it's GP uh, AUD pair. When I say the weekly time frame, it's on the major support area and it's formed a morning star. So I will be looking for a buy trade and my target profit will be here. This is next support area. But I'm not going to trade on weekly basis. I'll be going trading on daily basis or mostly hourly basis. So here it's if I come to daily basis, it again sold a major support area. In daily basis also after the hammer, it from a small doji and a big bullish pattern. And if I come to one hour, the market had come down. So last week uh, I didn't trade for the last two days. So here it shows that I had drawn the level from where I would buy the go for long position. So I would have gone for long position from here. This is morning start because it has formed in my support which I made. And again, it formed support last week again. So uh, let me see one thing. If I went last week, I would have taken from here. Uh, the loss of 300 pips to gain of 600 pips, 1 is to 2. Again, I would have gone for, this is the <coughs> bullish rami in the same support and this is a confirming candle with the loss of 300, 300 pips, I would have gone for a profit of 600, 1 is to 2. Now, today, it has come down but now this support has no effect because i can see it's forming a opposite triangle so i'll form an opposite triangle now so my triangle will be like this and you can see it is forming an opposite triangle so <coughs> I will trade only when it crosses the triangle above and take a support below because or because here the seller are losing their confidence seller are losing their confidence seller are losing their confidence okay a buyer are taking in control which we have already seen in weekly time frame as well as daily time frame so i can enter here and uh, let's see how much pips will my loss the loss will be around 300 something pips and my gain for gain i will look at one hour time frame this is again the major support area i can see here this one something here you can see here let me put the line here remove this line to the top here yeah this is one more support area so I would want my yeah you can see here one two so I had want is it will best strategy I have lost two trade here the profit which could have made no it's not a big deal I can see the main support here which is a major support in past also and market can go anywhere so I will wait for the candle to cross above and make a small pullback somewhere here and once it is made the pullback i will enter a trade for long with the ratio of one is to two i try to take a very very, very big uh, trade ratio lastly but uh, profit is having but it was not making sense to me anymore Taking a small small trade and with the big time frame analysis is the best which I could do. Here I could take a big trade and here I can see that in weekly time frame that is a pip of 35,000 loss uh, put sorry uh, 35,000 uh, loss price 
and the gain will be 65.7 exact twice so I, I what I was trying to do last week was like uh, I would take a trade here and I would try to move the stop loss here here and so that and I will put D my gain at this level at this level top level and I was trying to be like okay I took I've taken a trade here I'm, I moved the stop loss here last week but it was hit by this candle again i moved my stop loss here but no so i moved my stop loss here below this candle and it was hit by this this pullback it's the same level so i would have taken first profit second profit third profit fourth profit fifth sixth so in last one week i have taken six times profit in this trade based on upper time uh, top down analysis but due to my some greediness say or yeah, greediness i can say uh, i was looking for 50 to 1 ratio 1 is to 50 ratio because i was taking trade here first this is the top double bottom uh, i will let me show you if i go to more time frame let's not waste more time of yours right so let me do a simple analysis see it was the double bottom here you can see it was one triple bottom sorry at the same time the diversion so you have taken one trade here okay so it is done now moving back to my again hourly chart once it breaks the breaks this uh, triangle zone and uh, take a repulse i will enter now coming to gbc ad in weekly time frame it also shows a promising uh, buy signal is a hammer with the bullying uh, uh, bullish candle which forms a morning star at the main support level again um, yep so here let me show you one more thing so you can see the market taken up with the bullish engulfing here and uh, it is a level of 21 moving average it can come at this level make a double bottom and can go up again being uh, this oversell level okay so it can be happening one thing but obviously it can also go up from here so today's the market open with the uh, bearish formation let me close this one right now uh i'm not finding any signal to enter right now also it is monday so i would say that i will wait a little In 15 minutes no i'm not going to do 15 minutes so it's not best to look at 15 minutes because i'm not going to do that because at 15 minutes there's so much yeah uh, uh, what do you say confusion this is a major support area here also you can see this is also major support you can see this one this candle this candle this area so i will wait for the candle to come at this level and show some bullish signal then i would go for long trade or else if it breaks this zone here and take up the pulse up and then i will go for short trade till this this support or this support obviously one is two ratio
I'm not seeing any trade here. Next, here I see the double bottom, and this was a profit which could I have taken. Let me see the weekly basis at a major support level. It's a bullish family. No, 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 no. We can't say if it's a bullish family because. There's a too much stress uh, rejection. Coming today. It was a morning start today. No, no, it's uh, five days ago. Coming to our one. Okay. Coming to our one. From double bottom, it is taken up. Now it's again in. Uh, I made one decision last week like if it will cross this one, I will take a trade, and my next support will be this one. So, so here I can think I can plan for a uh, high risk reward because it's again there, it's in a zone right now. I can't read this and there's no diversion. This is not actual diversion. I can see diversion. It's simple, but no diversion. I'm not going to do anything. Weekly it has broken the first support here, but taken a second support. Made one hammer candle last week. On daily. It has only three horses. Okay. Okay. Nothing to see here. Nothing at all. Nothing to see here. No. <laughs> in weekly, it's in a zone. Consolidation, it is going in consolidation in weekly basis. <coughs> in daily basis, it was form your candle. I'm taking that in hourly basis if we wanted we could have taken some trade whenever it touched the upper side but it's a little all wasted now yes again consolidating in one hour also four hours also in day basis I've taken one here this is the area I think I booked some profit here I've entered and taken a profit entered here this was the morning morning star at the support of 50 plus 20 moving average and I taken a level of resistance here so last week I entered here taking a profit in here but this week hmm. I'm not seeing anything this is also about diversion I have taken one trade here and look profit here also that was one of another trade. <coughs> so in GBP AUD, we are looking for update. If it breaks and take a support, GBK uh, CAD will take. We are looking from support here and take a uptrend. My first target will be this level. And then it moves up and come back again. Then again, I will enter and take a long 
profit jpy in jpy i don't know what to say <coughs> In HRT, in JP HRT, I will looking for it to break up and take a support on again on this uh, small support for long trade. UST no trade, CHF no trade. Coming to Europe. Uh, <coughs> in weekly time frame it is supporting the trade line and forming bull single thing and daily hourly basis this level has been so much respected here and it went up Now I don't know what to say. Daily basis, it has support and gone uh, gone up. But oh. <laughs> we're looking for upside trend. One second, forty four twenty six. I just form a candle, but the color is not appearing. Zone schedule for long zone in our one. In day it doesn't matter, our boy doesn't matter. In our one is in a zone. If you didn't trade this one. If I have taken the supports, let's say this support. If I take, if I had taken this support, this one, I could have taken this. Oh my God! I could have taken this trade, which was my mistake. It will be two hundred to four hundred. One is two days ago. Was easily possible. So I look for in 15 minutes. Okay. No trade right now. Coming to USCID. Again, week on week basis, it is an uptrend, so a morning star. But again, at day time frame, it is showing the resistance at 15, 15 moving average. <coughs> I 
I can't see a proper aerial table plane. There is a big bullish here, which is causing me a big deal breaker to take the trade. If this was not there, this big pull, I would have taken the up trade. But again, if I see this bullish trade and I see this area, I can say it was in the major downside. Let me see other pair also. Euro CAD. So it uh, went down, tried to go up again. Again, it takes support. So my next level of resistance will be here. Let me take a one trial. If I take 10 lot upsell here my 306 pips will be plus and my profit will be approx five hundred sum out four that means one is to four just see Uniquely consolidating area day hour four hour one. Am I am I seeing anything here? It was double top. The market moved down, then it is in the some type of zone here. <clears throat> okay. 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 So buyers are losing their interest here, but in top of, yeah, I can see the sellers movement here, bull side movement, at, uh, but not confirming candle anything. It's bullish mm -hmm. around me, but again, again, candle is black, but nothing right now. Okay. So it should be falling down, taking a repulse. Then I will enter. <laughs> this trade I missed. Goal is single thing. Okay, how much pips? 300 to 500 something. This is the level where could I have taken. So 1 is to 2. So now it's in again support area. It's been really supported in multiple times actually. It came, it tested. In a weekly time frame, if I want it to come to this range and go up till that time, I will look for 
so my uh, okay so this is a level from where i will look for buy signal till that i will look for sell signal here and hourly time frame i can see this evening star here and uh, the sellers are losing the control it's a very good opportunity to sell so my loss will be 500 pips okay my tp will be approx this support level 900 pips something around 1 is to 2 ratio Okay, I'm looking it to come at this level because uh, this is a, bull, a very strain and this hammer candle or opposite hammer or say hanging man forming in the very pattern it shows the trend continuation. Okay, at the same time I can see the support is being here so I can trade in this support area again it may go up but uh, and when i come to day trade it's a bullish engulfing here again with this zone which i had created and coming to hourly trade so the zone is very well respected all that this area okay now coming to hourly one here small triangle pattern is forming the buyers are losing their strength, 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 and at this point, uh, if evening star is formed very nice at the supporters of 50 as well as 21 moving average, and uh, which shows that the market has potentials to go down. So from top to down analysis, it is showing that market will go down. In top analysis, it shows that market will come to this level. But I have taken the profit of one is two only. This going to come to hourly time frame. Now next, again here. This is again the very big bullish movement which was here. But, and then again the correction, very big correction then again market is trying to go down let's see what is going on in okay so in weekly time frame i can see a hammer candle wow first candle black was a big rejection then after hammer candle obviously in the zone and now potential of forming the uptrend but 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 here is a big rejection of uptrend taking all the buyers out and then going up and today again market has started low taking some bullish it has come down And uh, this is confusing. So, depending on diversion, this for diversion, I've taken a buy trade here. And uh, yeah, yeah, let me clarify myself. I've taken the profit of this level with the stop loss of this level. Then I moved my stop loss to around uh, somewhere here, which was taken by this candle this big uh this big rejection and my stop loss was hit and again i so it's like that this is major support area now so and candle is coming down engulfing its and i can see a small support area here this is small support area 
it is very well respected now bulls in golfing and uh, so obviously I'm but 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 by which time frame time frame i don't know but 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 i can still take a sell here to respect this market pattern i have one doubt one more doubt from here itself it can go up but anyhow I will take a case movement till here. It's how much? It's 173. Yep. See, yeah, it was a uh, bullish engulf. I'm oh, sorry, bearish engulfing pattern, but it was rejected at this level. And uh, 180 pips. not that much i am looking for only this much yeah i am looking blue zone only i am not going below that i am expecting to the week to come down and touch this and go up and from i am trading in weekly basis i am look, trying uh, looking for a shadow to touch the low level and go up <coughs> because it has to it has to respect the support and market movement anyway we will see okay now the euro cad so if you remember i have taken the same thing euro cad also yeah here it was it respected a little of my trade but it's again going up Okay, you will see. So, I think in EuroCAD and Euro and ZD both had same pattern. No, not Euro and ZD. Euro USD, sorry. Yeah. Both had same scenario EuroCAD and Euro USD. Okay, and on both, I have taken the same thing. So it was a trial. So I will take I should have taken only only one. But I have taken in both. And you look at I am seeing a big rejection here right now. Good, very good. Your UST. Okay. Again, your GP has the same thing. A big rejection here on weekly basis is uh no daily no hourly for it was in a range it broke the range and went up in our four so let me tell you frankly what happened last time what mistake i did okay so can you see this this is a diversion here you can see this is is going down while the candle is going up so i took a sell here i guess in the aim for a big profit the profit was like this level yep this level instead of one is to two even if i have taken at this level my i would have taken a big profit of uh, four thousand pips but i was a little greedy I took the no I my target was this level and uh, <clears throat> and uh, my profit was less and uh, obviously 
I put my stop loss around here, around here. The market went down, but came back and hit my stop loss. Then after again, I try to enter somewhere here with this black candle. So I'm not set. Yeah, somewhere there, something. And I was hit again with stop loss, and all my profit was washed out. Double tweezer. Oh my god. It's a double tweezer. Uh, top tweezer, I mean. Okay. Nothing to do here. I've already taken the same pattern, same pair here and here. This port can go to loss. Okay. It will twenty one dollars, and here it will be like uh, eighteen dollars in euro and GFD. I have taken the loss of approx thirty dollars. Cool, cool. Euro CHF. It's started with the bullish engulfing weekly. Oh, it's and uh, it's double bottom. Took, took, took. Double bottom is a diversion also here. You can see the double bottom. And uh, in hourly trade, it went from. Okay, so this was a triple horse, three white horses, whatever. And it's in a zone also. And it took a bullish engulfing. So this will show my, uh, in hourly, weekly time frame, I can see a trend. Bam. And in daily time frame, I can see a bullish engulfing in uptrend only. So I will be looking for a buy here. Let's see if I have money. Yeah, I have money. It's a dummy account, name my account if you are, guys are concerned about and still practicing. This is a bullish engulfing. So I am taking a hit of uh, 94 pips. Okay, Euro CH is. And I will take the profit of this major support area 94, 94, and uh, I will take at um, major support. This is the major support area first, and also 94 pips to let's make it 1 is to 4 ratio. Once one, one is somewhere here, it's in the major support one, two, three, in the major support area. Let's keep it here. Going to USD pattern, the video is being long. I'm already at loss, running loss of six dollars. Cool, 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 cool. You know, CHF taking on weekly time frame is was a big sales rejection, a big buy rejection. Sorry, the bullet is a bullish rejection at 50 moving average, I think, across. <laughs> And it's a double bot top, which I missed. Wow. I missed double top. Oh, oh, oh. I had made this uh, pattern day before yesterday. So if it will come here, I will take a stop loss something. And again, I missed it. Again, I made a uh, second support at this level and said if it will come and if I see the rejection, I will take the second profit here. But all is gone now. Now what? Now what? Now nothing. It is at this support area. But now what? The point is, now what? Now 
doing what? If so, uh, if this continuing will a single thing or what? Okay. Okay. If it's out of this zone, with a promising some candlestick. I will look for it. I will look for it. But nothing at this moment. Yeah, this weekly is showing a triangle pattern something. But not that much promising triangle in daily that I must have taken this one is uh, I have not been trading for last three days this was the sale which could have taken this top is a very good top user actually hourly for daily so this in morning I didn't took this one sale signal but 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 I'm going to take this one in morning this which the so currently the time is 7 49 uh, indian time so this candle 7 30 candle 6 30 candle 5 30 my 5 30 candle was showing the evening star and seeing the pattern which i had formed here I would have gone for this like uh, let me take this stop loss above this white uh, okay 124 pips everything how would have gone i would take in the candle entry at this level a stop loss of 200 and tp of around this so this is the major support area where i can see my sub second support level is nothing but this one so my still my uh, 133 pips is to uh, what is this three so i am taking a one street trend here because here i don't see any other support level let me go to a little higher time frame yep 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 but yeah it can hit my stop loss i know that that's the game that's the game i'm entering a little late but that's the game now coming to usd jpy the video has been for uh, 43 minutes okay not bad so already we have entered for trade and we are in a net loss of three hundred three dollars sorry okay but there's two more pair three more pair to go and jt usd aud <coughs> in other cities cad and gold so in usd we have not taken any pair any entry okay GB, I mean GB, UD, GB, CAD. Also, we are waiting JPY. No, no, no entry. It's a major resistance level. And uh, say rectangle. I can see this. I don't know if you can, but I can see this. It's a major area, but on weekly time frame, I will nothing. It's reject by sale rejection is there <coughs> i'm not taking any trade because of this big movement <coughs> ignoring it so what happened here what happened here was in week yeah it's a sale area that's a support and uh, on hourly basis maybe i could have taken this one but it's better Based in GBP, I have not taken any trade. I have taken all the trade in Euro, which is a big mistake. I should not take all the trade in the same time frame. So, first of all, Euro CHF, I have taken a buy signal here. 
by right i have taken a by right yep 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 my buy is based on this weekly and uh, yep three horses <coughs> and one bulls in one thing so it is coming to stop loss going to hit my uh, stop loss okay i should have only taken one trade in this one euro jpy it would have been better if i've taken the sale in euro jpy instead of taking a sale in euro usd euro usd being it is showing an uptrend okay which i think will hit loss but in euro jpy it is at already a consistent level if it is not moving anywhere so it can go down and take a profit of here we could have taken profit of here it depends on which we are taking the big thing euro njd i have taken the sales yep yep with the support of this level and in weekly here so i'm not going to trade take any more trade and i'm not going to see any more trade you know it's being monday and i'm not feeling little well so i'll let you guys post it what happens next so i mean again loss of six dollars something so in total i've taken i think loss of hundred dollar today's trade and uh, i have balance of 135 so i have taken a lot of uh, uh 10 lots per trade okay we'll see how the results comes up so of this five trade i will i'm expecting two trade to go loss and three trade to make profit that's the only case i will be in profit otherwise i'll be enough i'll be wiping off my capital Closing the recording for this time.